It's a game changer, the uh, technology for the uh, hip replacement using the MAKO system. What it allows us to do is it allows us to make our cuts during the surgery with laser precision. We're able to change the way we put our implants in based on a system that uses a CT scan to assess the patient's anatomy that's fed into a computer and then we're able to use that information intraoperatively to put the components in the exact position within points of a millimeter. The first thing we do is our normal approach to the hip, but then we have to place an array uh, on the pelvis that gives the robot and the computer system a navigation point to set up uh, reference for the anatomy. So we, we start by putting that in, and once we've done that, we place some metal probes in the bone at the acetabulum and the femur, and we use those as reference points to help map the anatomy so that the computer understands actually in a virtual uh, computer system where the anatomy is. So when we move the hip on the leg, we see the hip move on the computer screen. And when we do something to adjust our position, it's registered on the computer and the robot can interpret that and give us the exact positioning in three space. So once we have those reference points, we can actually do the reaming for the acetabulum using the robotic system, which is precise within points of a millimeter. And when we do that, we can check the computer screen and make sure our cut is exactly as we planned it. Once the reaming is done, then we're able to use the robot to actually align the final component. And this is where the magic is, where we can actually put that component in, in exactly the right position to every degree that we plan before the surgery and every depth so that we know that there won't be an impingement problem or a dislocation problem with that hip replacement. Some of the biggest problems with hip replacements in North America is dislocations. And we find that most of those situations are the result of components not put in quite the right position. Being able to put the components in the right position decreases the failure rate of hip replacement surgery. What it does is it allows Windsor Regional Hospital to provide the best up-to-date care uh, to our patient population.